I did want to follow up on Commissioner Dunn's question for Mr. Christian, if I might, because I didn't, I didn't quite follow your answer on the bullion banks. You said the bullion banks had large shorts to hedge themselves selling elsewhere, and I didn't understand. I, I, I might just not have followed it, and you're closer to the metals right. market you've been doing this, but how do you short something to cover a sale? I, I didn't quite follow that. Actually, I, I misspoke. Uh, basically, what you were seeing in August of 2008 was a liquidation of leveraged precious metals positions from a, a number of places, and the bullion banks were coming back to buy it, and they were hedging those positions by shorting, uh, by going short on the COMEX, and that's really what it was. It, it, all right, so I'm glad I asked because I didn't follow that, but if I think of the earlier charts that uh, our uh, uh, head of the Division of Market Oversight, Mr. Sherrod had, these concentrated shorts have been, you know, uh, reasonably uh, consistent. I'm not, they're not exactly the same one every day, but his chart showed a sort of a similarity across a couple of years. So wh what, what, what are bullion, I mean, I'm just trying to understand, what are bullion banks hedging on the other side? Uh, we heard from the other panels, but you seem to be familiar. What are they? Yeah, is I it, mean, is it, Jeremy. Is it warehouse receipts? Is it, is it, is it, what, what is it? No, it's a tremendous number of things. Uh, you were at Goldman, I think, shortly after me. We had an MIS system that kicked out a so daily really bullion book. It's really because we, we, don't, we don't seem to have a lot of similar views, but, you know, it's a lot of people were at Goldman Sachs. Well, I, I didn't like the trends at Goldman, so I left in 86. Uh, but no, honestly, and, and, and bad jokes aside, uh, if you look at a bullion bank's book, its gold book, for example, you will see an enormous number of things. There'll be gold forward purchases from mining companies. There will be forward p purchases from refineries. There will be gold that's been leased out to electronics manufacturers and component manufacturers and catalyst manufacturers and jewelers. As gold flows through the beneficiation process, and again, you know, these are all long, complex issues that are hard to reduce, but you know, a lot of producers will sell their gold the moment it leaves their, position at the, their possession at the mine, and it might be in concentrate form or it might be in doré form. It then goes to a smelter or a refiner. The bullion bank buys that. It agrees to a price at the time it's buying that, but it won't be allowed to sell that metal until it has refinery outturn, which may be two weeks, but it could be six months. So they will go into the market and short the market in order to cover the commitment they've made to buy at that price. And then when they get the metal in the physical market, they can either sell that metal and unwind the hedge in the short position on the futures or in the forward market, or do something else. There are all sorts of other derivative contracts that in investment banks and bullion banks will sell to investors, to other banks, to pension funds, to insurance companies, and each of those oftentimes will have a long exposure in gold, which will be hedged uh, with an offsetting short position. So if you look at a bullion bank Six gold book or silver book, you would find a, a large range of topics. One of the things that the people who criticize the bullion banks and talk about this undue uh, large positions don't understand is the nature of the long positions in the physical market. And we don't help it. The CFTC, when it did its most recent report on, on silver, uh, used the term which we use in the market, the physical market. And we use that term, as did the CFTC in that report, to talk about the OTC market, forwards, OTC options, physical metal, and everything else. And people will say, well, there is, and you've heard it today, there's not that much physical metal out there. There isn't. But in the physical market, as the market uses that term, there is much more metal than that. There's a hundred times what there is. If I look at the large, if I look at the large short positions of the COMEX silver contract, my question is, where are the other shorts being hedged? because the short position that I believe bullion banks use to hedge their physicals is larger than their short position on the COMEX. And the answer is they hedge it in the OTC market in London. Uh, I thank you for that uh, detailed uh, discussion. 
and i don't